In this episode, we'll explore the significance of trauma-informed practice in creating safe spaces for healing and recovery. I'm genuinely excited to delve into this vital topic with you. Understanding Trauma-Informed Practice Trauma-informed practice is a crucial approach in various fields, from healthcare to education and beyond. Today, we're going to understand why choosing trauma-informed practices is essential in fostering a compassionate environment for healing. The Significance of Trauma-Informed Practice Defining Trauma-Informed Practice Let's start by defining what we mean by trauma-informed practice. It's an approach that recognizes the widespread impact of trauma on individuals. It acknowledges the potential for trauma in everyone and seeks to create a safe, empathetic, and empowering space. Safety and Trust One of the core principles of trauma-informed practice is creating safety and trust. For individuals who have experienced trauma, feeling safe is paramount. When they feel safe, they are more likely to engage in healing. The Compassionate Approach Empathy and Understanding Trauma-informed practice places a strong emphasis on empathy and understanding. It encourages us to listen without judgment and acknowledge the pain of others. This approach empowers individuals to share their experiences and begin the healing process. Avoiding Re-Traumatization Another crucial aspect is avoiding re-traumatization. Trauma-informed practitioners are mindful of the potential triggers and strive to create environments that minimize re-traumatization. This allows individuals to heal without being overwhelmed by their past experiences. The Power of Choice Empowering Individuals Trauma-informed practice is about empowering individuals to make choices about their healing journey. It respects their autonomy and agency. This approach recognizes that healing is a personal journey and individuals know what's best for them. Holistic Healing Holistic healing is at the heart of trauma-informed practice. It acknowledges that healing extends beyond the physical to emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being. This approach fosters comprehensive recovery. In conclusion, choosing trauma-informed practice is not just an option. It's a compassionate necessity. It creates safe spaces for healing and recovery, empowers individuals, and respects their unique journeys. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of trauma-informed practice. If you found this discussion valuable, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Let's continue to foster compassion and healing together. Until next time, may your journey be filled with empathy, understanding, and resilience. Trust the process and it's bye for now.